Hey guys, it's Noelle. After watching all of my past Plan With Me videos, you're probably a pro when it comes to doodling and hand lettering. But how do you keep your bullet journal looking fresh and cute all year round without having to resort to doing a ton of super complicated, ornate doodles and drawings? Well, I'm here to show you a bunch of super fun, out of the box ways to decorate your bullet journal that may not have occurred to you. But before I do, definitely subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future bullet journaling tips and tricks. All right, let's go. So the first decoration idea that I'm gonna show you is this cool watercolor effect. I first saw this effect on one of my fave Boojoers YouTube channel, Boho Berry, but she saw it on the popular Boojoers Instagram, The Pigeon Letters. Considering that watercolor effect looks super cool, it might surprise you to find out that all you need to achieve it are some water-based brush pens, a Ziploc baggie, and a spray bottle. Now it's time to grab your brush pens. I'm gonna be using the Koi coloring brush pens from Sakura. And basically all you have to do is color on the baggie in the general way you want the colors to show up on your paper. I want purple to be at the top. Then I think I wanna go from dark to light. So after that, I'll do the blue. I'm gonna do it like sideways so that I can come in with the green on the left and then yellow at the bottom. Now you're going to lightly spritz your Ziploc baggie with your spray bottle. This kind of like intensifies the watercolor nature of this. And then once you do that, all you have to do is place the Ziploc baggie down on your bullet journal page and then flatten and then just kind of mush it around to get the colors to spread and join together and look really cool. And then you just lift it the Ziploc back off the paper. And if there's a little too much extra water left on the page, all you have to do is take a napkin and kind of blot the top of the page. I want pink like around in a border. So what I am going to do is just draw like a thin line. Then spread. Then we put that down right on the edge and just dab. And then I'm just gonna add a little on the other side too. Just make sure that you lift the bag flat so that it doesn't splash the water to one side. But what's good about this is that you can't really mess up. Like even though I wanted this pink to be mostly on the left, the way that it kind of moved into the middle actually looks pretty cool. Then I think I just want to add a little bit more blue to the bottom of this just to even out the page because I feel it's a little top heavy. Make sure that you don't spray too much water on the baggie as well. So this didn't turn out exactly like I imagined it when I first started drawing on my Ziploc bag, but like I said before, you can't really mess up with this. The way that it turned out, it is still looks really cool. It's just a super fun abstract backdrop to put under anything that you would want to go on this page. As you can see in my journal, I used this as a monthly opening page and I just put July over it in faux calligraphy and put stars and diamonds all over the page. And it came out looking really cool. You can see that this is kind of curling because the page is wet, but once you close the journal and let it sit overnight, the page will flatten out very quickly. I suggest leaving the journal open out on a table for like an hour, and that's usually enough time for it to dry up and you're able to close the book. But if you want to continue bullet journaling after you've just done this wet intricate process, you can just put a piece of plain paper on top of the page and then turn the page to avoid the watercolors seeping into other pages. Another fun way to decorate your journal is to add pictures. And I don't even just mean pictures of you and your besties, I mean like, pictures of your fave hot celebs. So I've got an old issue of Seventeen with the gorgeous and ever-talented Shawn Mendes on the cover. So 
I like the size of this picture because it'll fit nicely on my bullet journal. So I'm just going to cut it out. You don't have to worry about this being perfect. It's more of like a scrapbook effect. Ta-da! Beautiful. Beautiful. So I kind of don't want Sean to just be like pasted right to my paper. So one of the third tricks is to use other types of paper to accentuate your bullet journal. I got this paper bag paper from Paper Source and I'm going to cut out a piece of it that's kind of, kind of shaped like Sean. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crumble it up. I know that seems like blasphemy, but adding a little texture to it is gonna look way cooler when you paste it down. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to take my Sean, put him down. I got this cool tape runner from Paper Source that just kind of lets you automatically put glue on the back of things, which is like really cool. Then I'm gonna glue him onto my crumpled paper. Gorge. And once you tape Sean to your textured paper bag paper, you can put tape on the back of that. And now you can add whatever you want to this page. For me, this would be like a memory page. Let's pretend that I went and sat front row at one of Shawn Mendes' concerts and he pulled a Bruce Springsteen and invited me up on stage to dance with him. And it was one of the most amazing nights of my entire life. I would put this baby in my bullet journal and then decorate the page however else I want to. Now this just like actually needs to happen to me. Doesn't that just pump up the page? I, I really love that. Let's say that you are doing your new opening spread for the next month. So I'm gonna write June because it's really cold in New York right now and I really wish it was hot. Let's say you wrote out June and you're just feeling super uninspired. You don't know what to put around it and you really don't wanna draw out a bunch of doodles. Well, that means that you should definitely invest in some stamps. I've got these awesome stamps from UB. So I'm just gonna take my stamps and use this cute little UB ink pad to put stamps all around the page. And before you know it, my page is gonna be lit with summer. So as you can see, stamps are a super cool way to decorate your page if doodling isn't your thing. The next way that you can decorate your pages is to use washi tape for basically everything. Right now, I'm gonna show you a cool way to use washi tape as a frame behind a picture. So I'm gonna take my Machi washi tape and find a cool pattern that I like. So I'm gonna take quite a few pieces and just kind of overlay it. When I paste my washi tape picture frame down, I like to make it a little bit wonky. Like I don't like things to be super, super straight or perfect. And so at the bottom, I left a little extra space just in case my picture ends up being a little too large so that I can adjust it. So the next thing I wanna tell you about is the HP Sprocket. My friends at the Mickey Mouse Club brought me this when they came to visit 17 and I am uber obsessed with them. This little thingy ma doodad is a printer for your cell phone. I am going to print out one of my pictures to paste on this lovely washi tape frame. So all you have to do to print out a picture with your sprocket is turn on your sprocket, turn on your Bluetooth, and connect to your sprocket. Now go to your sprocket app and find the picture that you want to print. So this is a picture of me and Kelsey when we went to go see Austin Mahone at the mailroom in NYC. And so all I have to do is open up the picture and then click this little print button. Now it's connecting to my sprocket. And now it's going to work its magic and print out the picture. Ta-da! Isn't it so cute? 
The H3 Sprocket prints your pictures onto little sticky paper. So all you have to do is take the backing off of it. This size is actually perfect for my washi tape frame. Now I can lift up the washi tape, the extra washi tape that I put there for adjustment and rip it off. So let's say you're sick of hand lettering and you just want to do something super different for your title for the page. Well, I introduce you to letter stamps. I got these um, little letter stamps at Paper Source. I'm going to use them to put Austin Mahone's name at the top in different colors. Once you stamp on your title, you can use the rest of your page to write a diary entry about your experience the night of your picture. So I would write about how Austin Mahone killed it and did an amazing job. He pointed at me, that's true. I know I never met Shawn Mendes and danced with him on stage, but Austin Mahone like legitimately pointed at me, no biggie. Let's say you spent an embarrassingly long amount of time trying to make a quote look perfect, like I did with this quote from The Greatest Showman. No one ever made a difference by being the same. If you don't have the patience to kind of make the rest of the page look beautiful, an easy way to make a quote really pop and have an awesome border is to get some lace washi tape like this from Paper Source and line your page with it. I'm gonna use the heart lace because I know for a fact that I'm gonna be shipping Philip Carlisle and Ann Wheeler at the end of the movie. I'm going to cut this out so that it fits the sides of the page and then glue it down. Instantly, even more beautiful. So as my final tip, imagine that you want to separate a section of your journal, but you're sick of using regular tabs or washi tape or whatever you've been using in the past. I've got a simple yet fun way to divide your pages that takes like 30 seconds. All you need is some fun paper like this. I'm using origami paper from Paper Source. So what you're gonna do is fold it in half and then glue that down. Then you're gonna fold it one more time in the opposite direction. This time you're only gonna glue one side of the paper. And that's it. Now all you have to do is slide this baby onto the corner of one of your pages that you want to mark. You can really put it on the top or the bottom of your journal, it really is up to you. And then what's fun about this method is that you can make them in different sizes. So I can take a sheet with a different color and this one I'm gonna cut in half and then I'm gonna do the same thing we did for the first one, only twice. Now, if you mark off another section in front of the bigger divider, you'll be able to see both dividers, which is pretty cool. That's it. I hope these cool decorating techniques really help you pump up your bullet journal. Are there any that you use that I should know about? Definitely drop them in the comments below so that I can check them out. And definitely subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future bullet journaling tips, tricks, and hacks. Bye.